New violence erupted in the West Bank overnight. Israeli officials confirmed the death of a 15-year-old Palestinian boy. This was at a checkpoint near Jerusalem. Police say the boy stabbed and wounded two Israeli security personnel as they attempted to inspect him before he was killed. CBS News foreign correspondent Chris Livesay is in Jerusalem. Chris, how does the situation near the checkpoint in Old Jerusalem play into this larger spike in violence that we're seeing both in Jerusalem and the West Bank? Uh, and, and how does all this play into the start of Ramadan? Hey, Lana and Errol, certainly tensions are boiling. Uh, you know, Jerusalem has always been a flashpoint in normal years, quote unquote, around the time of Ramadan. That's because of Israeli security restrictions on the uh, numbers of Muslims entering into holy sites. Um, however, this is no normal year. We have a war raging in Gaza. People are fasting and praying. They're not eating during daylight hours. And as they're meditating on the war in Gaza, they're thinking about their, their fellow Muslims there who aren't eating because they can't get enough food. So just imagine the state of mind that people are in in an already tense time of year. That said, uh, Israel has not made any adjustment to its security restrictions that are have already been in place during past Ramadans. However, they've always reserved the right to review those security protocols on a weekly basis. Friday tends to be the tensest time at the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third holiest site in uh, Islam here in the old city of Jerusalem. So we'll just have to wait and see how things unfold on Friday to see if there's any adjustment to those protocols. In the meantime, Chris, Israel held off from ex expanded operations in Rafah. Where are we in the ceasefire deal talks? Uh, so far, they have failed. However, according to a growing number of Israeli media sites, there is momentum uh, in a breakthrough. That said, you know, we've been here before. What's at issue is the exchange of Israeli hostages who have been in Hamas captivity for five months uh, for a ceasefire, for a you know, determined amount of days that would depend on the number of hostages that are handed over. You know, uh, but in the meantime, yeah, Israel says that this offensive is going to happen in order to put out the embers, as they see it, of the fire that Hamas started on October 7th when they launched their massacre that, that killed more than or approximately 1,200 people and captured these hostages. All right. Chris Livesay, thank you.